Welcome to Vintage Wednesdays. Today we're going to assemble hashtag 590000, the marble ring lift entrance one. Ta -da! <laughs> These parts will make up a little entrance path for the marbles to entrance the lowest gear. And it goes together with a puzzle like this. And I'm gonna weld this together and then the pipe is gonna come in like so. So I've been using this joke for a vice for ages and the other day I found this in the trash. So you can say I found it on the streets of New York basically. So you can see here that I have a new vice, but my workbench is a flimsy IKEA table. <laughs> so uh, next project, sturdy workbench. You see here that the PBS number of this actual part is burnt into the actual piece. So this is the assembly after welding and the next step is now to bend this PMA pipe. So this tool is my favorite I have. This is 18 millimeter medical rod and it fits perfectly made from silicone. So I can pull this medical rod into the PMA. I can't push it in but I can pull it in. I just want a slow organic continuous bend. So, this is all about patience. The more patience I can have, the better the result. So now I'm happy with the band, but I'm still after heating it and holding it in place to relieve any stress. So the pipe's gonna go through here and down through this oval here. And you see it leaves the curve, which is lucky. So you see the inside radius here is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. The only thing not perfect is that I have little heat bubble damage here when I forgot it too close to the heat gun. But that finish, <laughs> look at that. So this finish is steampunk galore, isn't it? I'm actually not a steampunk person, it's just when I started to use <laughs> PMA pipes and badly welded metal, I became a steampunk person per definition. The angle to go in here is not there. I need to remove material from inside this to be able to thread this piece in. Look at that. So I have this set screw, 10 millimeter long, 
and I also have five millimeters somewhere and that's the plan but for now I didn't find the correct length. I don't really like the look of that so instead for now I'm gonna put this six millimeter long hex bolt. I kind of like how this looks. So if you see if I put in a marble very miss very very slowly okay it still rolls goes quite slow so I want to angle this piece of pipe a little bit down in this direction to avoid this flat spot right here what we actually also should do is that we should actually bend this thing a little bit like this I wasn't thinking about this in the design so we don't have a flat spot inside this so now there's no single spot where I can make the marble stay here. This is one of the most satisfying things I've put together in a long time. Look at this. I kind of like, I still kind of like the hex bolts. There is something with it, isn't it? I can do this all day. My decision is if I should use silicone or not around here to create some kind of seal. Let's see if this fits on the machine. <laughs> so these were the holes that I shredded when I was still living in the Shire. And I'm reusing them for this design. As you can see, it fits on there. So two M8. This is stable. This looks not good though. Definitely not good. So this is a little bit too much angled like that. I could improve on this. Jesus. Nah, it's not true. It's not true. I hate these magnets so much. <laughs> if I would have done something differently on the War Machine X, it's, I wouldn't have used magnets for the lifting. <sighs> So this problem area is now taken away. If you dip your finger in water, you can actually you can create a quite smooth finish. Here is the result and this side looks a tiny bit better. But unsurprisingly enough, I hate this. <laughs> I can't live with this. This is the aesthetics, the clean line between the metal and the plastic. If I was really perfectionist, I would make a new pipe with a longer angle the way I designed it. The pipe goes in a little bit too steep through the oval, but I'm not gonna go that route. I'm just gonna remove the silicone and clean this up. That was a cleansing process, body and soul. Good. This is bad. This is really bad. It's actually still a little high. Oh, did you hear that sound? It's different. It's much, much more silent. Let's see what it does in a full situation. Good. So now we can measure if this can lift eight marbles per crank turn, which is almost 20 marbles per second often. Okay, speed test, here we go. <laughs> That's nice. That's really, really nice. By checking the frames, I could see that all these marbles were lifted in under one second. So 
that's the reason I choose the magnets. No other lifting method in the marble machine world I've seen is faster than that. This is the reason why I've used the magnets. So they're not all bad. They just need some extra thought. Machine, it's dropping my boots today.